Yo, how's it going everybody? This is Juliano over at Boss Labs. So today we're back in Adobe After Effects, but this time we'll be tackling simple animation techniques for anybody just getting started with motion graphics or adding After Effects to their set of skills. Now animation is a very complicated subject when talking about it in the traditional sense, so we'll leave things like squash and stretch to animators and cartoonists. But adding motion to simple graphics is a skill greatly sought after in the creative industry, which is why it's important to learn. So here we have little boss standing in the middle of the street looking as confident and stoic as ever with his big tie. If we take a look at our layers, we can see that we have Little Boss and his tie on separate layers, so things are easier to work with. Let's select the tie layer and click on these arrows to get down to the transform properties. Here we can see the layer properties that we can animate. We'll be messing with the rotation in this tutorial, so let's set that up. If we scrub through the values in rotation, we can see that the tie is pivoting from a center point. We want that point to be at the top, so let's move it. We'll select the pan behind tool and move the anchor point to the top. I have this nifty tool anchor point mover that makes this a little bit easier. Now we can see that the rotation is working how we need it to. The first method of animation or motion and probably the most popular in After Effects is keyframe animation. A keyframe sets a property value at a given time in your timeline. In After Effects, this is accomplished by clicking the stopwatch to the left of a property. So anytime you see a stopwatch, that property can be animated. Now going back to rotation, we set it to 45 degrees and click the stopwatch. A keyframe now shows up in our timeline. We can slide it up and down the timeline but for now, we'll just leave it there. We move 20 frames forward by using the shortcut Shift plus Page Down two times and set the rotation to negative 45 degrees. There's no need to click the stopwatch again. By changing the value, a keyframe is automatically added. We'll move 20 more frames and set the rotation back to 45 degrees. There we have a full swing. If we scroll through the animation and take a look at the values, we can see that After Effects takes care of the in-between values. Or in other words, we don't have to set a keyframe for every second of animation. This works for most of our animation needs, but there's some scenarios where we need our set keyframes to hold the value until the next keyframe. Maybe we're looking to mimic a stop motion look where smooth motion wouldn't make sense. For those examples where we need our keyframes to hold their value, we select our keyframes and go up to animation, toggle hold, or right click the keyframes and again click toggle hold. You can undo the hold keyframes by again clicking toggle hold. Without getting too complicated, our current animation moves in a linear fashion, basically at the same speed from start to finish. To smooth out the animation a little, we can ease the animation at the beginning and the end by applying an easy ease. We select our keyframes and go up to animation, keyframe assistant, easy ease, or just press F9. We can see that the keyframe icon now resembles an hourglass, indicating that we've applied easy ease. You can undo Easy Ease with Control plus left click on PC or Option plus left click on the Mac. Our animation is no good if it only plays once before having to manually go back to the beginning of the timeline. So how do we get this to repeat? We can duplicate the keyframes by selecting our keyframes and pressing Control or Command C and Control or Command V over and over to get the looping animation we're looking for. Doing this isn't very fun, plus trying to edit the animation later is pretty time consuming. So let's move on to another animation technique in After Effects, Expressions. With the initial three keyframes created, we Alt or Option click the stopwatch. 
we delete the current expression and type loop out, open and close parentheses, semicolon. Our animation will now loop until it reaches the end of the timeline. If we need to change the speed of the animation, we can just slide the three keyframes accordingly. Since we're just looping between two keyframes in this example, we can delete the last keyframe and tell After Effects to move between the keyframes. We'll add the word ping pong in quotes to our expression between the parentheses. And there's our loop once again. In many projects, we just need a bit of random motion to attract the eye or add visual interest. A simple way to add some random motion is again using expressions, but this time no keyframes are needed. The expression we'll be using is probably my most used expression and it's called wiggle. Alt or option click the stopwatch once more and type wiggle parentheses 5 comma 10 parentheses semicolon. The wiggle expression changes a property's value a specified number of times per second the first number, by a specified amount above or below the initial value, the second number. So in our example, the rotation will change 5 times a second to an amount between negative 10 and 10 degrees. This might sound a little complicated, but when in doubt, just play with the numbers until you get something you like. For more organic movement, we can use the Puppet tools. We'll make sure the tie layer is selected and select the Puppet Position Pin tool. We'll click the bottom of the tie to add a pin. Since the whole tie is moving when moving the bottom pin, we need to add more pins. We'll add one to the top next. To better see what's happening, we can go up to Mesh and check Show. To give it another point to animate, we'll add another pin in the middle. There's two more options next to Mesh, Expansion and Density. For our example, we can keep the Expansion and Density low. Now that we have our pins, there's a few ways we can animate the tie. By holding Control or Command and moving the pins, keyframes will automatically be created recording our animation. We'll see a small stopwatch appear on the cursor to indicate that we're using the record feature of the Puppet tool. This feature is really impressive, but since we're only looking to add a bit of random movement, I'll be going back to Old Reliable and adding some wiggle to the bottom two created pins. We'll go into Layer, Effects, Puppet, Mesh 1, Deform, 
and find our bottom pin. Alt or Option clicking the position stopwatch, we can type in our wiggle expression. We'll do the same for the center pin. And there's our finished tie animation, using the puppet tool and wiggle expression. Well there you have it, a few simple techniques to creating some animated graphics. We went over working with keyframes, expressions, and using the puppet tool to add some movement to Little Boss's tie. Although today's example was pretty simple, these methods of animation in After Effects are the building blocks to creating more complex and impressive animated works. So in order to push our animation a bit further, I thought to myself what can be causing Little Boss's tie to move in such a turbulent manner. Instead of coming up with some impressive work of literature, I thought it would be appropriate to go with an overused plot device. Aliens. I'll end out this video with that animation. Hit us up in the comments below if you have any questions about today's video. We'll see you in the next one.